Hey guys, welcome back to DC Fit. Uh, today we're doing the Mums and Bubs three minute challenge, all right? So this is a specialty for all the mums out there. All right, so today I've got joining me our deadly Tori Cowburn. Hello. <laughs> and then in the studio, we've got our deadly Tim Matzik team leader on the right there, Sammy RC. And then on the left, we got Taste Manning with that beautiful little baby bump. Look at it. Show us, turn to the side. Mm. Yes. <laughs> All righty. So before we get started, we might quickly cut to two minute ads, but this is the time to grab your exercise mat, your drink bottle, and we you will need to chair as well. All right. And then if you guys have a towel nearby, also grab that as well. Awesome. You may have noticed that our clinics are now using the new telehealth service. With telehealth mob, you can expect the same privacy as face to face visit with a GP or any other clinical staff, such as a podiatrist or dietitian. Clinic appointments are still the same. The only difference is you are communicating through a phone or a video call. Your doctor or any other clinic staff will be alone in consult rooms during telehealth appointments, just like a normal appointment. Remember, everything you share during the telehealth appointment is private and confidential. To book a telehealth appointment, contact your local AMS. To find your nearest AMS, visit deadlychoices.com.au. In these uncertain times, it's important to look out for our mob. And if you feel someone's doing it tough, check in. Give them a call and let them know that you're thinking of them. Yeah, uncertainty always makes us feel anxious. Um, one of the ways of combating that is to get good information and to stay in touch with the people we know and love. So that doesn't necessarily mean seeing them in the flesh. It could mean making contact with them by the phone, via social media um, or over Skype and, see, and seeing them that way. There are lots of ways to keep in touch. Hey guys, welcome back. So welcome back to DC Fit Live. All right, so today we're doing our Mums and Bubs three minute challenge. All right, but before we get started, we're just gonna do a quick acknowledgement. So mm -hmm. I acknowledge the traditional owners of the land we meet on today, which we're doing the session on both elders past, present and emerging, all right? And we might quickly cut to a, a waiver very yeah, quickly, yep. which our deadly Tory is gonna read for yep. us. So I'm gonna quickly <coughs> read the waiver out. So you are voluntarily participating in the DC Fit Online Group Fitness Sessions and that your current health status is appropriate for an online group fitness program. These exercises are generalized and you'll require a safe and clear environment to participate. Please modify them if you have any special requirements, injuries or limitations. If you need further information or support, please speak to your healthcare provider. If you have any concerns, please do not participate to avoid injury. Beautiful. All right, so we might quickly go through the session outline. So as I said before, it is our Mums and Bubs three minute challenge. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna have six rounds. Round one, two and three is just a repeat of four, five and six. All right, and we'll be going for 30 seconds for each exercise mm -hmm. and 15 seconds rest. Each round only has three exercises though. So before we get started though, as we always do, we're gonna have a really good warm up for these ladies in the studio. Yep. All right, so. So I'll read the warm up, <laughs> a warm up out. Um, so we've got two rounds. So we'll go 10 uh, walking high knees. So we're gonna go five on each leg. Yep, so 10, we'll alternate. Walking so, high knees. Yep. Yep. For all the mums out there, we're just taking this nice and slow. Yeah. All right. So we just want to be getting those knees about hip height. All right. But not going too fast. All right. Still keeping keeping stable. Awesome. And then we've got 10 arm circles. Yep. Beautiful. Nice. And as you can see with the ladies there, their arms are about the same level as their shoulders, which is really, really good. So after we do the arm circles, we've got 10, 10 hip circles. So 10 each. Beautiful. Yep. Deadly. <laughs> Get those hips all we'll the go, way around. Yep. <laughs> 10 each way. All the way around. Yep. Awesome. So we're alternating, we're turning the other way now. Beautiful. If you start to feel any pain, definitely take a rest as well. All right. So if you start to feel any pain anywhere in your legs or even stomach or even on your shoulders or anything, any kind of pain, um, definitely recommend probably sitting out. All right. So we're going to do 10 bird dogs. You're probably wondering what that is. So we're going to lift, uh, we'll go, yep. So we're going to go, Sammy's going right arm and left leg. So that's, yep. So she's lifting it up 
and coming back down. Now, Tace, um, so Tace is pregnant at the moment. She's just going to do her legs and then her arms. Is that right, Tace? Mm -hmm. Yep. So our deadly Sammy on the right there will be performing level two today and Tace will be performing level one as well. So as you can see, that's why Tace has only got one single limb raise and our deadly Sammy's got a both a limbs going. Alrighty, and then we've got our last exercise after we're finished on that one, and which is the 10 pelvic tilts. Mm -hmm. So with these ones, as you can see with Semi, she's just pretty much tilting that pelvic downwards and then upwards. All right, nice and slow. Good work, guys. This is a great way to be turning on those pelvic floor exercise, uh, pelvic floor muscles, sorry. And as you can see with Tay, she's just taking it nice and slow, not rushing through the exercise, feeling every bit of her pelvic floor muscle going. This is actually a really good warm-up, even um, in the mornings if you wanted to do it before you mm -hmm. get your day started. Definitely. It's a good mobility workout too. Mm. Good little mobility kind of warm-up, which is definitely what we want for these kind of exercises, all right? And we got two rounds of that. So we'll do that again. Mm -hmm. So walking high knees. Beautiful. How are you feeling, ladies? Good? Getting warm. Nice. They're getting warm. That means they're not warm yet. <laughs> so you've just got a few more exercises left. Beautiful. Yep. So the arm circles, 10 arm circles. And you don't have to go as fast as these ladies in the studio as well. If they're starting to overtake you, that's all right. You can just go at your own pace. So Semi's gone forward and taste and then back. So we've, we're rotating the opposite direction. And now the hips. So we'll be doing one direction and then t 10 times and then turning around and doing the other. So yeah, this workout, the Mums and Bubs three minute challenge, um, it's obviously appropriate for mums. So with Semi, we've got a mum here and mums to be, um, Tace. So she's pregnant. So if you are pregnant, you are able to do this as well. And both me and my Tori and myself are also mothers. Yes. yes. So Tori, newly mother. Yes. Oh, how is yes. it? How's it going? Oh, I'm tired. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> it gets better. It gets, it gets better. better. It gets better. Yeah, well, this is, yeah, yeah. I have to do this workout today because um, it's been really difficult to get time, find time. Yeah. So this is a nice quick one. Mm -hmm. No? It is. It is a very nice quick one. So not too hard at exercises either. So just enough just to get you through the day as well yeah, especially yeah. because there is a recommendation every day for exercise and yep. for women for pregnant women or for newly mothers i'm pretty mm -hmm. sure it's only 30 minutes so okay. this is not too bad <clears throat> and that's how long this workout literally takes is probably 25 to 30 minutes yeah yeah, yeah. it's really Beautiful. good like because sometimes you just can't find time no that's right um so yeah 30 minutes is, is a good time for um a workout so we've got our last um, bit of til pelvic tilts. Pelvic tilts, yep. Pelvic tilts, taste. Beautiful. Awesome. Good on you, Taste, for getting out here and exercising when you're tw 20 weeks? 20? 28. 28, 28 weeks. My bad. 28. Wow. <laughs> Nearly 30. Beautiful. All awesome. right. Awesome. So we might go through our first set of exercises, all right? So as I said before, our lovely Taste will be mm. doing our level one and our deadly old Sammy will be doing level two. Deadly all right? old Sammy. Mm, deadly oh. old, I mean, just deadly. <laughs> just deadly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we might quickly go through our level one first exercise, all right, which is calf raises. So as you can see with Taste, all right, she would be standing flat on her feet. And when she goes up onto the ball or up onto her big toe, she's going to be pushing her body weight up onto her big toe. All right. Try not to come outwards onto the out, outside of our feet, trying to push on top of our big toes. All right. And then with Sammy, we've just got single leg calf raises. All righty. So she'll be doing 15 each leg or until that 30 seconds is up. All righty. So if you need, grab a wall or also stand next to a chair for balance as well. And then our second exercises for level one, all right, will be our step out squats. So with taste, she'll be stepping out, doing a squat, then coming back and then stepping out to the other side. Beautiful. And then our deadly Sammy will be doing squats and then a knee raise to her opposite elbow. All righty. Make sure when we're squatting, also pushing up from those heels. Yeah. All righty. And then on our last exercise, it's just a frontal arm hold. So taste will be just doing it with no weight. 
just holding her arms right out in front there, level with her shoulders. And Sammy will be doing frontal arm holds with some cans, but in the studio today we have drink bottles. Mm -hmm. So that's our Deadly DC Fit drink bottles. All right, you're sending your videos and your pictures. Mm -hmm. You can go on the Jordan windows as well. All righty. Awesome. <clears throat> All righty, we might get started. All righty, so it's only, remember, it's only 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off, yeah? Yep. All right, might get started in five, four, three, two, one. All right, starting with our car phrases. Here we go, so 30 seconds of work. And making sure, like with Tace, that all her weight's going on to her, her big toes. Yep, right. so we spoke this morning about mm -hmm. um, while you're pregnant, um, the hormone's called relaxant, so you're more inclined to get injured um, and more flexible but unstable. So make sure technique is really important at the moment. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And this also helps with, oh, hang on, three, two, one. All right, we get a 15 second break here. Beautiful. And then our next exercise going into our step out squats and our squats to knee raise, all righty. Here we go, five seconds and three, two, one. And also something that happens when you're pregnant, you start to get a little bit swollen, especially in that mm, lower body. Yep. So definitely when you start doing exercise, it helps the blood circulation go as well. Out of way, ladies, out of way. So as you can see with the ladies, they're pushing up from their heels. Tace is not going too deep. She's just going to what she can do. And that's all right as well. All right. And you got about five seconds to go. Here we go, ladies. Keep all going. All the way, all the way to 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and having a rest. Beautiful. How are you feeling? Good? <laughs> Tace, how are you feeling? Yeah. All right, five more seconds for your rest, then the next exercise. And let's go into our frontal arm holds. Out of weight. 30 seconds of holding, yeah? Yeah, 30 seconds of holding. Keep going, guys. Out of way. 15 seconds down, 50 seconds to go. There's how many rounds of this one? This exercise? Three or four? Just three exercises and per round. So we're only going to do it once because oh, yeah. we're going to repeat it in round four as well. Yeah. Beautiful. So those arms will be sore by then? Yeah. All right. Yep, rest. And then you got a one minute rest now, and then we'll be going into uh, round two. All right, and our round two exercises, we'll quickly go through our round two exercises. All right, so our first one for level one is our wall push up. So as you can see with Tace, she'll be chucking her hands on a wall. All right, keeping those, those sh hands still sh level with your shoulders, shoulders yeah. as well. All right, and then just coming down. And as you can see with Sammy, she's just grabbed a chair. All right, so same thing. Keeping those hands level with your shoulders. All right, and then we got our crab walks. So for level one, we just got mini. So just coming down a quarter of the way and then going across. And then with our level two, we've got deep. Deep, Sammy. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, and then for our last exercise, we just got a lateral arm hold. So just holding our arms out laterally. Beautiful. All right. So while we are, we've only got about a seven second rest now, and then we go straight into yeah, our 30 you seconds things. of Quick, work. Quick, grab a drink if you need one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we're into it. Let's go. Just 30 seconds. If you need to grab a drink, that's okay as well. All right, so you can always rewind this and then go back to the start of the timer as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, just while you're doing those push-ups, make sure that your arms um, are shoulder height, mm -hmm. um, not too wide as well. Beautiful. Yeah, awesome. And now as you can see with the ladies, they're still keeping their back straight, no matter where they are, whether they're on the chair or the wall. All right, three, two, one. All right, straight, oh, no, straight, not straight. You get a 15 second rest. <laughs> All righty, and we're going into our mini crab and our deep crab walks in about in five seconds. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And two and one, let's go. And this exercise is really, really good for the glutes as well. You're more than welcome to chuck a band around your legs as well. Mm. Um, I always chuck mine around my calves. Um, yep. People chuck them around their knees yep. just to help their knees stay out as well. I think the mm. lower you go, the harder it is. Yeah, definitely. With the bands. Um, and it is actually like, I, I do use it as well to warm up and it's mm -hmm. quite a hard, 
little workout. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It definitely activates your glutes. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Three, two, one. All right. Having a rest now. All right. 15 second rest. And then we're into our lateral arm holds. All right. I find it more difficult to do slow um, exercises yeah. than fast. Definitely yeah. controlled ones. Controlled, yep. slow and controlled. All right, let's All right, go. Let's get into it. Definitely, definitely. So I feel for you ladies right now. <laughs> <laughs> and with this exercise, they're not just activating their arms as well, all their shoulders. They're also going to activate their core to keep a straight line yep. as well through their back, through the spine as well and keeping those arms up. 15 seconds down, ladies, and 15 to go. Here we go. Out of way. 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. All right, you get a minute's break now. See, nice and quick. See, nothing too strenuous, just nice and quick. Yeah. And so we'll go into our round three, our round three demo. All right. Tace is running away. <laughs> yeah. Tace wants nothing to do with us no more. <laughs> She's done. Uh, all right, so our level one, both level one and level two, have just got our cat and camel. All right, I like to call these happy cat, angry cats. All right, so what you want to be doing is arching your back and then Lovely. bringing your back as far nice as up. Nice arch as can. there, Sammy. Beautiful. And then bringing it back down. So almost like you're sticking your butt out. All right, so when you come down, you're just going to stick your butt out. Oh, look at that little belly on taste. <laughs> And so when, cute. when you're pushing up, you want to make sure you want to be pushing that belly button straight through your spine. All right. And then the next one is our bird dog. So we did this in the warm up. Sammy will be doing both limbs. All right. And then Tace will be just doing single limbs. Beautiful. And then our last one is just dips. So with our level one with Tace, you'll be just doing dips with a bent knee. And then Sammy will be doing dips with the straight knee. So as you can see with Sammy, she's got her knees straight. And then she's going to be coming all the way down where those elbows bend at her shoulder height. And then the same with Tace. Beautiful. As you can see, Tace is not going all the way down, just to the point where she can. Okay? Awesome. All righty. Let's get started. Here we go. Straight into our cat and camel. Here we go. And that's all right. And that's all right if you just still need to take a drink and more of a break. That's all right as well. I love how these workouts, you can, you can do them with really nothing. Yeah. They've got a mat and a chair, water bottles. Mm -hmm. I love how they use the water bottles for the weight too. That's a really good idea. You just, you just need to do it in your lounge room. You just do it in your lounge room mm -hmm. while you're chilling. Even if you're at a hospital and you're um, seeing your midwife or something, you can also do it there as well while you're waiting Yeah. as well. This is great. These are great exercises. All right, and have a rest, ladies. 15 second rest. All right, into our bird dog singles and our bird dog double limbs. All righty. In five seconds. And three, two, one, let's go. All right, 30 seconds. Bird dog. Mm -hmm. That's the first time I've heard that. Bird Same. dog. Same. <laughs> I've never heard bird dog before, but it's good. Interesting. It's interesting to note because I've never really learned yeah. the names of these until now. <laughs> I guess this would be a good one, like a good exercise as well to do with your kids. Yeah. Like mothers, because could you imagine, like you know, the kids will have fun. Definitely. Doing cat, camel, bird, dog. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. And they always really interesting. And they're always up to that curious stage where they hear that bird, dog, cat, camel. They're like, yeah, oh yeah. my god, what is it? I'll that? give it a go. <laughs> yeah. Three, two, one. All right. A nice break here ladies and just remember after this exercise we're going to go straight back to our round one all right out of way in Getting five seconds for the dips in three two one all right this is a really really hard workout too so you get a good nice a good exercise and a good kind of strenuous exercise here through dips yeah. through our triceps Tries, yeah. all right and you get a good kind of exercise through our shoulders as well. So as you can see with taste, you know, it does it does start to get a bit strenuous, you know, Getting it's a, a hard exercise. It's a hard yeah. exercise. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that's right, her belly is heavy, so she's got to carry a little bit more weight than Sammy there. All right. So three, two, and one. Take a rest. All right, you got a minute's rest, and then we're back to our level one. Oh, uh, back to our round one, sorry, which is our calf raises and our squats and our frontal arm holds. These are doing really well, ladies. 
And that's okay to take a break during those dips because they are hard, hard workouts, yeah, right? Yeah, they are really, really hard workout. Yeah, I find mm. them difficult myself, yeah. so I couldn't imagine carrying a baby and doing them as well. They're definitely not easy, especially when you've got that big belly out the front there. Yeah. <laughs> just got a little bit of extra weight, but never mind. <laughs> just think how, just think how, like, just think how, like, um, what's that called? Uh, what's that called? How muscly you'll be after <laughs> oh. this taste. Oh, God. Why couldn't I think of that word? <laughs> <laughs> Just think of how muscly you'll be after this taste. <laughs> uh, all righty, 15 seconds. Here we go. And 10. All right, straight into our car phrases in five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. And just remember on these, going on to our big toe as well, all right? Because as Tori said before, when we got that um, hormone that's getting released into our body relaxing, all right, all of our joints and ligaments start to become much softer. Yeah. So if we do go on the outside of our um, feet when we do our calf raises, it could be really, really dangerous. All right, that's why we try to focus on pushing up from our big toe. And three, it's got really good balance there, Sammy. Two, <laughs> one. Beautiful. Sammy, did you swap legs? Yes, she oh, did. Okay, I was yeah. going to say, you're just going to have one muscly leg. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> <laughs> just that one. <laughs> just having our 15 second rest, guys. Beautiful. Five seconds. Here we go. And three, two, one. Straight into our step out squats with taste. Beautiful. I can see that you are much warmer now. Um, <laughs> just, just by the, the depth in your squats and yeah. getting right into it. As you can see with Sammy, she's getting a lot deeper. All right. So if you feel like you can go deeper, that's okay as well. But try not to go too strenuous, okay? <laughs> Beautiful. Ten seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. All right, have a 15 seconds rest. Thank gosh you're counting, Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> I would have forgot. <laughs> that's all right. A bit of a, bit, bit of a Tabata kind of weakness for me so <laughs> don't worry i definitely keep count when it comes to these workouts all right we're into our frontal hold let's go ladies let's go beautiful let's see if we can hold it for the full 30 seconds how are you feeling taste good it's hard it's mm -hmm. yeah so taste is saying now it's actually hard it is harder than it looks definitely especially holding those poses Definitely, because it's you just got to hold your weight up, really, yeah. and that's hard for anything like a plank, anything like that. You just, it's really hard. Body weight. A lot mm -hmm. of people can do exercises, but yeah, there, there we go. Thirty seconds, guys. Mm -hmm. You can rest. Beautiful. Um, but a lot of people can't actually do body weight exercises. You know, like that's right. Planks that's exactly and right. holds and push ups and mm -hmm. pull ups. All right, we're done there. We've just got a minute rest now, and then we're going into our round two exercises, which so are our wall push ups. Wall push -ups. Yep. Mini and crab I, walks, mm -hmm. lateral arm holds. Oh, wait, th this way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, guys. All right, so savor this rest. All right. So is it a minute rest? Yeah, yeah? minute yeah. rest. Oh, so awesome. minute rest in between each round, ladies. Yeah. Don't worry, Tace. I know you're eager. She's really eager yeah, in the yeah, studio she's right now. The wall oh, there. Yeah, she, maybe we might get her to go to level two next time. Oh. <laughs> she's <laughs> probably thinking, let's get this over and done with. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I know I do that. That's why She's I'm really totally good at the fast us. exercises because I'm like, want it over and done. <laughs> All righty, Tace, we got 10 seconds. You ready to go? <laughs> <laughs> so remembering, guys, when you're doing those push-ups, um, I guess like the chair is a really good indication. Mm -hmm. um, but take, for you, Tace, to keep your arms shoulder width yep. Um, yep, and height. Awesome. Now, yep, you can get started now. So you can't really see taste in her arms, but she's definitely keeping them shoulder width apart and at her shoulder height as well. Yeah. So with these ones, you just want to keep her, she's, but you can definitely see her back is nice and straight as well. So, which is really, really good, especially because she's got a bit of weight on the front. <laughs> and this is a really good exercise for those who are just starting to work out as well. Yep. Like not even pregnant mothers. Yeah. Um, if you and haven't three, done a push up before. Two, one, ladies, rest. have a rest. Yeah. Yep. Uh, if you haven't done it before, you know, it's a really good way to start. Yeah, definitely. There's a great alternatives definitely to get into those. I mean, we've all started there. Yeah. Definitely. Like I have, you know, I'm sure Tori has yeah. and I'm sure half of the boys have who have come in here as well in yep. previous sessions. Yeah. All right. And two and one. We're into our mini crab walks. 
And there's always an alternative for all of our exercises as well. They're not all strenuous. There's always a breakdown of what you can do. Yeah, yeah. All right. For example, I mean, I made a taste get on a breakdown of a burpee. <laughs> did you? As everybody knows, I love burpees. So we did a little bit of a DC fit training. So Did and Taste do it pregnant? Or was she it did, but she oh. did a breakdown. She did a breakdown <laughs> of a burpee. And I mean, you know, if she could do it, I was making them boys do that burpee properly. Awesome. <laughs> Two and one. But no, and that's the thing. You can always break these kind of exercises down no matter how hard they are. Yeah. You know, that's the great thing about it. All righty, 15, 15 second seconds. break. <laughs> Five seconds. <laughs> and three, two, one. Back into our lateral arm hold. This one's hard mm -hmm. too, yeah? Yeah. Hard as the forward. Mm. It's not as hard as the front one. And you know, I think that's a great indication of Sammy having really, really strong pecs and shoulders. Because if you're finding the frontal hold a little bit harder, you might have weaker shoulders at the back and weaker lats. But if you've got strong pecs and strong shoulders at the back, you'll be able to hold this one really, really well. Mm. Which is really, really, it's different, you know? Yeah, yeah. All right, and 15 seconds rest, ladies. <laughs> no, keep on going. No. <laughs> Don't tell them. Uh, I know, Tace was getting impatient with me before. <laughs> up and down. What have we got next? All right, and when we got, we're straight into our round three, but we've got a minute rest now. Oh, a minute rest. Yeah, okay, we got our awesome. minute rest. All right, and our last, this will be our last little three exercises, all right? And then we'll get into a nice cool down as well. Yeah. But like I said before, it was only, we only need 30 minutes of work um, exercise, mm -hmm. for especially if you're a newly mother or if yep. you're pregnant as well, you only need 30 minutes. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be anything like this as well. You can just go for a walk. Yeah. That's, as, that's just as you good as well. You might not be able to catch 30 minutes, hey? Like no. that's at the start when we had baby, mm -hmm. we were like, we had to just go walking with the pram. That yep. was the only thing we could do. And, you know, that's better than nothing, hey? That's right. And that's all Maybe. I was allowed to do. And trust me when I say it's hard for me to listen. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, like, most of the time I'd never jump in the car with my mum. I would just walk to the shop, which yep. was only about maybe a 10, 15-minute walk. So there and back, 30 minutes done. Yeah, awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, don't forget, guys, to grab a drink uh, if you're thirsty right now yes. is the time. We've got 10 seconds until we start <laughs> the last round. Yep. yep. And, so, and all these ones are, our, are probably our easiest ones except for our dips. But, but yeah, yep. but it'd be more intense because these have been exercising for a while now. That's Here we right. go, guys. Let's go, cat girls. Camel. Happy cat, happy, uh, happy cat, angry cat, I mm -hmm. really like to call this. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, we do cat camel in yoga. That's, that's how come I know. Yes, yeah. that's right. And you're big on yoga, aren't you? you really I love, love it. Yoga. Yeah, I do. <laughs> so everything was closed um, and I sort of dropped off. Yeah. Didn't really do it. I did a couple of classes at home and now it's reopened oh, back into it. I think, everyone's, I think everyone just went like New Year's resolution in the middle of the year, didn't yeah, they? <laughs> like yeah. the gyms open back up. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right. We got a 15 second break and then we're going to go into our bird, bird dog. dog. And I find mm -hmm. yoga is really hard too. Like people think it's easy, but it's oh, not. Definitely not. Um, and I think that it's hard because you have to hold poses as well. 100%. 100%. Yeah. And I know, Sammy, you, you do a bit of yoga mm -hmm. too. And yeah, it is hard, isn't it? It's, it's a, Yeah, breathing. Yeah. And it's a really right, good ladies. lesson. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry. Bird dog. Um, yep. It's a really good lesson as well. If you're interested in trying yoga, mm -hmm. you should do it um, with the breathing for other other areas in your life. I mm -hmm. learned how to breathe better while I ran. Yeah. So I could run further. Definitely. And yeah. that and that is a kind of a weakness, especially for me. I can't breathe when I run and I don't notice it yeah. until I end my running and I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. Like I swear I was fitter than this. <laughs> <laughs> but it is. It's that thing where you just don't breathe and you just don't think about it. Yeah. You know, and yoga is great for that because you have to learn how to breathe yeah. during the poses and everything. Finding comfort and discomfort. Okay guys, fifteen second break. Beautiful. All right. Badly, you are ready to keep going. <laughs> all right, and then we've got our last exercise, which is our dips, all right, yeah. which is probably going to be our hardest, hardest one, all right, but I want us girls to really go for our last 30 seconds for this, all nice right? Nice finisher, hey? Yeah, go definitely. Go hard, guys. Don't injure mm. yourself, though, please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, into it now. Let's go, girls. All right, so we, if you're doing the bent knee as well, definitely use your legs to help you come up as well, all right? So don't just use all your arms. When you're using your bent legs, you also want to be pushing up from your legs, which will help you mm -hmm. come up, all right? Beautiful, that's Good it. Good work, ladies. Out of way. We only got 10 seconds. Out of way. And take it as slow Push as it. you need to, yeah? Yeah. Out of girl, Tace. Out of girl. 
And three, sweaty. two, <laughs> one. Beautiful. Awesome. Right. That's done. That's, That's us done. done. That's us done. Wow. <laughs> How are we feeling, ladies? Thumbs up. Warm. Warm. Very warm. Beautiful. Yeah. Sammy's ready for another exercise session after this. <laughs> <laughs> She's laughing at me like, <laughs> you're not funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We might just quickly go on to our cool down though. Yep. So we just got a couple of stretches that we're only just going to hold for about 20 to 30 seconds. Cool. All right. So we just got our calf stretch to start off with. All right. So... With Sammy knows what she's yep. doing here. <laughs> yep, awesome. So you don't have to go all the way down. Uh, taste, yep. Beautiful. There we Lovely. go. Lovely. Make sure you're feeling a, a nice stretch. Don't go too too intense. No. If you want more of a stretch, take that leg that's on the ground and try push it back further. And when you're trying to do this one, you want to be trying to push your heel towards the ground. Yep. All right, because that's where you'll start to feel that stretch through the whole back of your leg with the calves. And you might even get a little bit of a hammy stretch in there as well. Yeah. All right. So as you can see with Sammy, she's changed it up a little bit. All right. She's coming forward and she's just holding that toe, keeping that heel on the ground. All right. All right. And we might go into our quad stretch. Um, so which so we've one done, we've done alternative. Uh, yeah. You've, you've alternated. Hey, taste. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. So we'll just do the one standing up. So bring that heel to the back of our bum and want to be pushing that knee probably in just a little bit more with the, we want our knees touching as well. There we go. Do you two are real deadly at balancing? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there's a, don't worry, there's always one leg yeah. that is not as well mobile as the other. I would have had to hold that one. chair, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> There's always one side of your body, all right? I've got proper damper foot. <laughs> <laughs> they roll out. <laughs> See, i got little tiny feet and big legs, so that's not a good mix. <laughs> <laughs> now, away, ladies. And that's okay if you need to hold on to something for a bit of support as well. Yeah. Do whatever you need to to get that good stretch in as well, all right? And then we're into our hamstrings, all right? So if you want, you can put it up on the chair. I definitely advise. That's a good idea. Taste. Yep. Yeah. Definitely advise if you got that belly, just come forward a little bit. You don't have to touch your toes like Sammy. You just got to pretty much push that chest towards your knee. All right. There we go. And it doesn't have to be a whole lot. All right. It just can be a little bit, but that's where you want to be aiming. Where it's can you feel it, Taste? Point? Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. And we'll swap legs. So this is only a 20, 30 second stretch hold. All right. If you want to do more, that's okay as well. Um, just because, like I said, just because our broadcast ends doesn't mean you have to stop stretching. Mm -hmm. All righty. Beautiful, ladies. All right. And after this one, we're going to do our hip flexors. All right. So our hip flexors, you want to be getting into a lunge position. Yep. And then when you come up, I want you to be trying to push that hip forward. All right. Beautiful. Try bring your foot just a little bit further forward um, there, Tace. Because so you want flat. that foot. Yeah, yeah, you want that foot flat on the ground when you do this kind of exercise as well. Um, Sammy's got a little bit more mobility in her hips. So that's why she's gone down into her little dragon pose there. Mm -hmm. Which is a good little stretch as well. But that's okay if you can't get that far down. Everything takes time. All right. If you just want to stay up, that's okay as well. Beautiful. And swap. Yep. Beautiful. So definitely pushing that hip straight towards the ground. All right. It's okay if you can't get on the ground, like I said before. Just go as far as you can. Yeah. All right. I'm jealous. That looks so nice. <laughs> I love stretching. <laughs> I do. I'm a big stretcher. All right. Now, last stretch is just our shoulder stretch. Alrighty, so we'll just be doing our shoulder stretch, bringing one arm, yep, over our, to our chest and then just pulling it over our um, shoulders there. Holding it where our elbows are. Beautiful, guys. And then swapping over. Good work, ladies. Um, so just remember it is really important that you do stretch. Um, I know that, you know, we say you can continue to stretch after the broadcast, but a lot mm -hmm. of people would probably do the exercise and not stretch yeah. or not even stretch, like warm up mm -hmm. before. But it's really important that you warm up and that you do stretch afterwards as well. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You want to do what's good for your body. Definitely mm -hmm. what's good for your body. And these exercises can be quite stressful at times and quite mm -hmm. straining. Um, so 
and when your body starts to heat up and when everything starts to exercise everything starts to get tighter yeah. so you want to also loosen that up and just yeah with just a little bit of stretching all right takes two minutes that's it two minutes <laughs> all righty but awesome. that's it for dc dc that's fit live that is that's cool. it for dc live nice and quick like i well, said thanks before. for having me usually what? i'm oh, good cool. quick tucker so <laughs> i was a bit awkward with no food i didn't know what to do <laughs> uh, no nah, it was good to have you tori and thanks for coming out girls especially you tastes thanks for coming out with your big belly too so technically we got two and a half in yeah, the studio yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh and sammy thanks for coming out as well yeah all right thanks awesome. for joining us guys